What's up guys, Sidian Gaming here and welcome back to another review video. It has been quite a while since like October of last year. Wow. So start off today we're reviewing while well, I'm reviewing. I love how I always say we. <laughs> today I'm reviewing the Skylamite T10 Gaming Mouse. So I figured I would start with my favorite feature that the keyboard has. You can change the colors by simultaneously click clicking the FN as well as F1 through F7. And that'll change like red, blue, green, white, yellow. Yeah, I can't remember. Blue, like a lighter blue. I, I don't. Okay, you guys, you guys, I'm showing clips right now. Don't judge me. Uh, also like a pinkish color. Yeah, it's it's pretty it looks fantastic. The keys are really fantastic. They you can feel when you click them and when I say that if certain cheap keyboards you you don't even know if you're clicking the keyboard which is awful. On other cheap keyboards it sounds like you're mashing it like a crazy person and it sounds awful. This keyboard has neither of those bad qualities. It is dark. I'm going to say this one more time. I can't believe that I've been using a cheap keyboard that just came with my computer. I just, I don't even know. I just, it's so nice. Under the keyboard, there are little feet that you can flip up, and it'll actually lift the keyboard on an angle. Not too, too much. And, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, I don't, I don't even know how I used the crappy cheap keyboards that didn't have that. I don't, it, you guys would be surprised how much that is useful. It also has a bunch of custom buttons, which is quite convenient, like really convenient. As well as some little LED indicators, such as the caps lock, which is what I'm showing you now. A little caps lock indicator, it, which is super helpful. So far, I've only had positive things to say. The only negative I can think of which isn't a big deal, is the USB connected to the keyboard is not a braided cable, which is not the end of the world, like, at all. You, it, It's not like a mouse where you need that braided cable, because you never mess with the keyboard, it just doesn't move. So it's not a big deal, but I, I figured I would add that in if you cared. So now here's the hard part. I have to decide whether I suggest this or not, and I do 100%. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see the point in a gaming keyboard, because I've never had one. I was like, why would you pay like $70 for a keyboard? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's it's so worth it. It has so many more features though, that I didn't feature, because I just featured all the features. Yeah, I know that's a little bit repetitive. <laughs> I just showed all the features that I that made me want to buy it. There are other features, such as like... It's, uh, I guess, water resistant or waterproof. I'm not going to test that because I don't want to break my keyboard. But, I mean, that's pretty cool. As w You can also uh, change the frequency in which, like, the response time, which is cool. I mean, out of the box, it was perfect. Like, I wouldn't want to change it. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Before I end off this video, I just would like to tell you guys that Skylamite did not pay me to say good things at all. I just want to point that out. I, I really do. They didn't pay me to say these good things. These are truly, it's truly my opinion, and I do suggest this keyboard. I will, of course, leave the links in the description down below. And thanks to Skylamite for sending it over. Anyway, guys, City and Gaming, out.